Hi guys, this is B Radatech and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at basic selectors in CSS. Uh, this is the first tutorial so we're only going to be looking at the standard tags, IDs and classes. We're not going to go into too much detail. So um, I've already uh, created an index.html file with um, some elements on the page so we can use CSS to style it. So I've used a tag of h1 for the heading. I've used a paragraph tag with an ID of paragraph. And I've used input types of text boxes with a class of input underscore text. We're going to use the class input underscore text to style all of these. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. So I've used uh, an external file for stylesheet.css. So we can't use it unless we've included it on our page. So in the head section, we need to include it on our page. So we need to open an element with link rel equals stylesheet type yours text forward slash CSS href equals the where you have stored it so since mine's in the same directory as I'm using I can just type in style CSS okay and the tag there so now I've included it on our page we can style the page but I'm only going to style h1 at the moment so we're only learning about how to style a tag so if you want to style a tag, you just type in the tag. So h1, no special code or anything. Then curly brackets, bring it down, and the curly brackets tap across, and uh, then we can start styling it. So color red. That means that the color will be red. And as you can see, it's changed the color of the heading to red. Now you do not need to use a um, Hexadecimals, you can if you want, so I can put hash f0. Yeah, that makes it yellow. Makes it. You do not have to use hexadecimals to say the color, but you can get more precise colors with hexadecimals. So um, now we've been able to style the tag, let's try and style the ID. Of paragraph, so let's make this a color of blue. So, um, I want I can just type in p if I wanted and uh, just style it there. But, um, what if I only want, um, such as I've got more than one paragraph tag? Well, I'll do an example, so I'll bring that down, take away the ID from that one. I'll give you an example. So, if I just typed in p and put color. That's blue there and I launch it to Firefox as you can see both of them are blue what if I only want that one to be blue well I'll go back into my text editor and I reference an ID so hash and the ID of my paragraph is paragraph so I type in paragraph with IDs you must uh, have the hash in front so now it's going to refresh it as you can see only one of them is blue so that's really useful if you've got many elements with the same well, the same element but many of them and you need only one of them to be a certain colour um, etc. So now to the text boxes, um, again I could just type in input and they would all be, uh, they would all be like border colour blue or something but um, what if I've got a button as well and I don't want the button so I'll just type in type called button and I'll just end it there, I'll give it a value of button. So um I'll go back to my style CSS and I'll put input standard tag again. So I'm gonna put order style border to px solid So um, I've made the border for the input two pixels solid and and that's blue. So um, let's refresh it. As you see, every input element has got a border. As I started it. Well, if I only want the text boxes like that, or in, you know only the text boxes. Well, I've given all of the text boxes a class of input underscore text, and the button doesn't share that class. So I go back to styles.css. I put dot input 
underscore text. Just check if I've got that right. Yep, so these have all got a class of input underscore text. I can call them anything. I can just type in some random text as long as I've selected it in here. So tag, no formatting at all, just um, write it out. Uh, ID, you have to put hash and clash to put dot. So now, if I refresh, as you can see, the button hasn't got the um, styling I gave uh, input underscore text, and that's how we select classes. Thank you very much, be right with